few Americans are happy with what's going on here in the USA. All the polls show that. I guess there's 20, 25 percent who are delirious and think things are going great. I don't really. Maybe that's the Taylor Swift contingent. I don't know. But the regular folks, uh, and I talk to plenty of them, are all disenchanted. And uh, it's a, the reason is politics. It, it just comes right down to that. So we have a very weak president. And if you want to think Joe Biden is not weak, you're perfectly entitled to think that. But the facts belie that this man has screwed it up so badly that another four years, uh, it'd be cast- catastrophic for, for the country. So that you start there, all right? His policies of open border, of uh, putting regulations on the economy that drive inflation up. Oh, no, inflation's coming down. Eh, it's not. Go to the grocery store, okay? Um, you're paying um, $20,000, I believe, the average family, uh, more a year than you paid under Trump for essentials. I mean, look at your insurance bill. And then on the Republican side, it's just chaos after chaos after chaos after chaos in that party. And I'm not even talking about Donald Trump, who I've told you many times, not even a Republican. He's a populist. But the Republican Party, there's no cohesiveness to it. All right. The messaging is all over the place. And that's why Biden gets a lo- away with a lot of stuff. Um, because the Republicans don't have a problem-solving agenda outside of Donald Trump, who's a generalist, and the media just hammers him every single day, so it's hard to even get his message out. So let's take an honest look at where we stand now vis-a-vis the presidential election of November of this year. That's the Talking Points memo. Now, this is an honest assessment. So turn off the TV or the radio right now if you do not want an honest assessment, because a lot of our countrymen don't, countrymen and women, they don't want it. But here it is. So Donald Trump is leading Biden in the national polls by about a point. A new poll today from the Wall Street Journal has Trump up by three. All right. That's in the margin of error. So it is very tight. Trump should be up by 20 if you are just gauging his performance in four years to Biden's in three and a half years. Trump should be up 20 points. Wall Street Journal poll out today in the swing states, and this is a fair poll. It's evenly divided uh, among Republicans, Democrats, and uh, others. Um, It has Trump up by three general, as I said. In Arizona, Trump is up by five. 47-42. I believe Trump will win Arizona. Georgia, the Wall Street Journal poll, has Trump up by one. I do not believe that result. I don't believe it. Okay, I think uh, Trump will win Georgia easily because of the Lake and Riley case. Michigan, uh, the poll has Trump up by three. That's a dicey three right there. North Carolina, I believe Trump will win it. Polls have him up by six. Nevada, Trump is up by four. I think Trump will win Nevada because of the economy. Pennsylvania, uh, Wall Street Journal has Trump up by three. I do not believe that. I believe Pennsylvania will vote for Biden because the Philadelphia voting situation has not been fixed. And that is the overwhelming population center in Pennsylvania. It is dubious to say the least. And finally, Wisconsin is a tie. Um, Wisconsin go, you don't know what's going to happen. You just can't, can't tell. All right. So now um, Trump gets into a situation that will hurt him at least temporarily. And that is the Stormy Daniels trial. Uh, We talked about it yesterday. I hope you saw the no spin news yesterday. Um, We had very in-depth coverage of what Trump is facing in New York City, criminal charges that he manipulated his books to pay off Stormy Daniels. If you didn't see it and you are a premium member of BillOReilly.com, you get a transcript of it anytime you want. We have segments posted as well. So just go to the website. All right, April 15th, Trump trundles into New York City. He's got to sit there for as long as that criminal trial goes, four days a week. 
I can't see it going more than two weeks myself. Some people say four, six weeks. I can't see it. All right. The key witness is a woman named Hope Hicks, who uh, was an advisor and a friend to Donald Trump. She's testifying for the prosecution, but God knows what she's going to say. It can't be hearsay in a criminal trial. I mean, just can't. So I don't know what Hicks knows. I don't know what she's going to say. But anyway, uh, it's going to be nasty and the media every single day will slam Trump. Guilty, 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 because the media has already convicted Trump of everything. They don't care whether he's guilty or innocent. They don't care that Ms. Daniels, um, some say, practiced extortion to even get this thing uh, where it is. The media is never going to report that. So every day that Trump is in that courtroom, it's going to be slam, 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 slam. And that will affect some independent women. Most people, they know this is bogus, all right? And they don't even care what Trump did with Stormy Daniels or didn't do, all right? They don't care. But it'll have a little effect on that niche vote of independent women. Now, Trump's lucky because this is going to get out of the way before May. And by uh, November, you don't even remember it, okay? So that's where we are. Now, the money is rolling in to Joe Biden from the progressives, Hollywood, all these people. It's got about 190 million, all right? And he needs it because Biden will not be able to campaign much, all right? He, he's going to have to stay in the White House. He can't go out and be confronted by local reporters or any reporters. Can't, he's incapable of that. So it's going to be TV ad, TV ad, TV ad, TV ad. And he's got to raise an enormous amount of money to buy the television ads, which have already started. Um, the Republicans will raise money, too. So it's not going to be that big a deficit. Uh, abortion will be Biden's main theme. Not the economy, not the border, not Israel, not Ukraine. Abortion. Okay, that's what it's going to be. And on the other side, Republicans better start supporting military aid to Ukraine. And just for this one reason, I'm going on News Nation tonight. Uh, I've got to wise up Cuomo at eight o'clock. Look, if Trump wins the election, it's going to be a lot easier for him to make a deal with Putin if Putin is still getting hammered. If Putin's winning, it's going to be much more difficult for Trump to stop that. If Putin's in pain, Trump will probably be able to come to some kind of uh, stoppage of this. So the Republicans have got to get that military aid over there for their own self-interest and the interest, of course, of the country. But a lot of Republicans can't figure that out. All right? They're not the brightest bulbs, some of these people. I think, I, have to, I hate to say this, but I think the Democrats, by and large, are smarter than the Republicans at this point in history. Okay, so that's where we are, seven months out to the vote. Um, both Biden and Trump are selling the same thing. Doom. Roll the tape. Because if we don't win on November 5th, I think our country is going to cease to exist. It could be the last election we ever have. I actually mean that. We don't win. I think this could be the last election we ever have. That's where our country's going. America, as we begin this election year, we must be clear. Democracy is on the ballot. Your freedom is on the ballot. <laughs> yes, we'll be voting on many issues. On the freedom to vote. And have your vote counted. Oh, well, it'll be counted in Philadelphia, all right, maybe six, seven times. Sorry to be cynical, but I know what's going on there. Okay, so both candidates are selling doom. Vote for me, the country goes down a drain. There you go. Something will happen. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, but something's going to happen to clarify this election. In our whole history, this is, whenever we're at this cross point, something happens. That's the memo. As you know, Mike Lindell has a passion to help you get the best sleep of your life. His famous Giza Dream Sheets are the best sheets you will ever sleep on. 
For a limited time, get a queen size set for $59.98, king size just $69.98. These are the lowest prices in my pillow's history. Mike and my pillow employees continue to be canceled by some big box stores and attacked by the media. They appreciate your great support during these times and want to thank you by giving you free shipping on your entire order today. So please go to MyPillow.com or call 800-869-0298. Use promo code BILL. You get the famous Giza Dream Sheets at the lowest prices, so call 800-869-0298. Or go to MyPillow.com, promo code BILL, to get free shipping today. More than 60% of Americans say the country is heading in the wrong direction. This is no surprise. Center Square Voters Voice Poll. Republican 42, Democrat 45, right direction 29, wrong direction 62. Going down the drain. As I said, Trump should be up by 20. But he's not. Um, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas going to be impeached. All right. And that comes April 10th. Two charges um, will not enforce U.S. immigration law and has made false statements to Congress. So it's going to the Senate. Uh, Senator Schumer will get it. He'll get rid of it as fast as he can. He won't be convicted. And then finally, on this front, Joe Biden is not going to be impeached. It's too much danger for the Republican Party to do it, and they don't have any central um, evidence. I mean, many people believe that Joe Biden benefited financially, but there's no beyond a reasonable doubt evidence at this point. So it, now April, vote is in November, not going to be impeachment. You heard it here. I'm not going to get into this transgender day visibility thing on Easter Sunday. I, I, I think it was ridiculous. If they wanted to have some transgender visibility announcement, they should have done it today after the Holy Week was over. Now, is there a linkage between transgender and religion? Not really. But some conservative religious people will be appalled. The Biden administration just went and ran with this on Easter Sunday. Oh, come on. It's, it's awful. Just really. Smart life. All right. So on May 5th, 2022, almost two years ago, the stock market was getting hammered. And I said to you, because I cannot give you direct financial advice or medical advice for you concierge members, you can't ask me what to do if you have leprosy, because I don't know. And I can't tell you what to do with your money. But I told you two years ago that I was not selling into the stock market declining. Well, now the stock market is just about at an all time high and gold is at an all time high. $2,264 an ounce of gold, all-time hot. Okay, what am I doing now? I sold some stock today. Stocks that I didn't really perform real well, but they got to the breaking point, and I said, you know, I'm getting out. Because what goes up, as you know, comes down. So it's rolling now to market, but Anything in the world happens. Anything happens. It's down 2,000 points. So I have stops on my individual stocks. That means if I have Apple, Apple sells for this uh, amount of money a share. I tell my broker, when it hits this amount of money, you automatically sell. That is a stop. And I'm putting them on a lot of them because I don't think the market is just going to roar and roar and roar. I think there's going to be some pullbacks. Now, if there's a stock that I want to keep forever, then I don't do that on the stock. And there are about five or six I have legacy stocks. Finally, a lot of people, me included, have mutual funds. We're a basket of stocks that are, that are managed by various operations. And I buy them through my stock broker at Morgan Stanley. I use them. They're not better than Merrill Lynch or the other one, but my friends work there and I use my friends. Okay. 
you should consult with your financial advisor about those funds. Okay? What you can do to protect the gains that you have. That's a consultation you should have within the next two weeks. Smart life. Money is power. We all work hard. Most of us work hard for our money. We want to be very smart with it. By now, you have heard me talk about Delta Rescue. They are a fantastic organization that helps rescue animals from the wilderness. You know, I'm a dog lover. So is Leo Grillo, the founder of Delta Rescue. It is his life's mission to provide everlasting care for these once abandoned animals. I myself have donated to Delta Rescue. Do you believe it is part of man's duty to care for dogs and horses, the animals that so much of our history is tied to? If so, please consider making a donation or consult your advisor about leaving a gift in your will or trust. There can be some tax advantages, and it's a great way to help Delta Rescue accomplish their mission. So please visit DeltaRescue.org to learn more. That's DeltaRescue.org. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Okay, let's go to the final thought of the day four months ago. Uh, My corgi, Holly the Terror Dog, uh, uh, was operated on to remove a brain tumor. She almost died. All right. The great vets out on uh, Long Island Vet Association out in Plainview, New York, uh, saved her life. And uh, the rehab on Holly is coming along very well. She's on medication, expensive medication. And her demeanor is almost back to normal with one exception. She follows me around everywhere. Now, she didn't used to do that, but now she does. And I, when I'm studying Holly, and I call her a terror dog because when she was a puppy and we got her, uh, and she's a full bred corgi, she ate the living room. I mean, (laughs) one of those, you know. Um, But anyway, Holly knows, Holly knows somehow, instinctively, because dogs can't really process information, she knows what happened to her and how close she was. And now she's home in a very safe environment, which I have and everybody in my house is safe. That's my number one job on earth is to keep the people around me safe. And I do. All right. Now, it is costing an enormous amount of money to save Holly's life. And so I did not have pet insurance, all right? I didn't. I should have, um, and that was my mistake. So then we have investigated this because obviously um, would it be 100 million American a pet? I mean, almost that many. It's crazy. Policy advisor, policy, P-A-W-L-I-C-Y, pawlicy, L-I-C-Y dot com. That is an advisory um, internet site for pets, and they give you different avenues of insuring your pet. Take what you want. But if your pet gets sick, and a vet 
was very, very honest to me, because you have to be. You can't be deceiving me. That's not a good course of action. Most pet owners would have put Holly down and because they didn't have the resources to save her. They didn't have it. Not $40,000. And it's going to be more because the medication is ongoing. Now, I couldn't do that. I, I, just, I, if I, I just couldn't. I don't even think about it. It wasn't even a hard decision for me. But I was thinking about people who didn't have resources. That if you have a pet that you love, particularly if the pet's not old, um, because the older the pet is and insurance gets out of control, you look around. It averages about $640 a year. Um, this is what our researchers come up with for dogs, about 400 bucks for cats. Um, that's what the insurance averages, uh, the cost. And, you know, I mean, you got to think about it. You definitely have to think about it. So I wanted to give you that information. We're very pleased Holly is uh, running around. I don't mind her following me around. But by the way, I, you know, it's, I looked at it. She's little. So I don't want to kick her. You know, but everywhere I go, there's, there's Holly. And looking at me going, and Holly knows. It's really an amazing thing what these pets know. You know, we have no idea, but they know a lot more than we think they know. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. See you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.